Good morning. This is not the clearest of videos. Um, it is 5.30 a.m. And I woke up and I'm going back to work today. So I decided let me make dinner. So that when I come back, I won't have pressure. So I'm going to flip the camera. Hopefully that <laughs> I'm hoping that it will look much better. Up the onions, tomatoes, chili, garlic. I am watching first service. Yesterday, salmon, because I attended second. I have my minced meat boiling, and I have sweet potatoes cut into chunks. So, dinner is boiled sweet potato with minced meat stew. I will have some of the sweet potatoes for breakfast, also with tea, before I head to work. I'm so excited to go see my colleagues, <laughs> since it's been such a long time. But I'm going to put my phone down, continue cooking, and then I'll catch up with you guys when it's much lighter, or rather much brighter, then I can do a better, clearer video. Good morning! Again, because I did film my early morning. It is now about 10 a.m. Um, I'm in the house because I'm waiting for the work car to come pick me up. Um, we're heading for field work, and so I didn't want to walk to work and then head to field work so they're coming to pick me up here that's why i haven't left and i'm in pink i feel so good see i'm matching even my shoes <laughs> so excited so i want to show you how breakfast looks like these are the sweet potatoes i boil with the minced meat i'm gonna quickly have this they've told me they'll be here in like about 20 minutes so i have 20 minutes to Eat and get out of here, which is not so long. <laughs> oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Can you imagine in the morning when I was cooking, I accidentally switched on my cooker, you know, the hot plate, and then my oven also turned on. And so when I was seeing it on, I was like, ah, what's going on? So I pulled it open, and then, you know, that you put your hand in just to see if you're going to feel some heat. I burnt myself. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm starting every week with an injury now. It's 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 even interesting to think of. But um, this is a very small wound. I have applied some Vaseline on top. Hopefully, no blisters. It's just like a tiny blister. Very, very tiny. I don't know if you can see. It's a very small blister. Then the rest is just scarring. So I'm hoping that the scar can heal by before the end of the day but i'm happy i'm ready for work i'm gonna quickly go eat and then i'll catch up with you guys later good evening guys it's now 5 30 i'm back home and after i went for field work i went back to the office because um i needed to sort out some paperwork so i went to the office just so that i could have that done and so now I'm back in the house. But before I came back home, I passed by the supermarket to get some doom, which I did. I got this one. Um, <laughs> Anyways, it's Mortin Doom, the lemon scented. I really like the scent. This is what I used last time. And then I came across this thing. It's called a flycatcher. So it's like a flycatcher ribbon. Um, this is how it looks like. It comes with the instructions on the side and there is the ribbon. There you go. And then that's how it says. So I bought a few. And when you open it, this is how it looks like. So this thing has the potential of being longer um, than how it looks like right now. I have pulled it out. I, I know I, it, it's longer. But I didn't want to pull out all of it. So I want to try it out and see if this will work. If it will work, I may not use the Doom as much because this one is cheaper than the doom so this will go a long way in terms of my purchasing power i can buy this more often than that other one so this is for the flies but i have been away the whole day and i haven't seen a single fly when i came back so i'm hoping oh those are kids outside i'm hoping that the flies don't come back or i may be the problem who knows because like they're here whenever i'm cooking they're here when i'm just chilling but then i'm not here and they're not here hmm. 
We're going to try. So I'm going to leave this one in the kitchen and then take another one to the sitting room. I'll give you guys an update. I don't know how long this will work. It's an experiment. So let's see if it will be a win or a fail. Um, I also got... Um, I can say it's a guilty pleasure. So you see, like, the way guys buy ice cream and whatnot when they go to the supermarket. I always buy these cupcakes. And my mom says, you're a baker. Why are you buying cake? <laughs> Mill bakers are my fave. Industrial bakers, these cakes are on point. Um... Why do I buy cake yet? I'm a baker. Um, first off, I don't buy decorated cakes. I buy this convenient supermarket ones, especially because, like, you just want to eat a little bit of cake and I don't want to go through the whole the whole cycle of baking. Baking does take time. And um, I don't want to decide on the flavor. I don't, want to de- I don't want that stress. This is already big for me. I get my six cupcakes. Yes, these are eight. I get my eight cupcakes and I'm happy. I didn't spend a lot of money getting the ingredients and whatnot. I didn't have to burn my hand again baking. So that's why I buy cake sometimes. Now, um, birthday cakes and um, all those other cakes I bake, especially because I know that people always mark up their profit. Hey, I marked up my profit when I was baking for sale. So I definitely try as much as possible to cut on costs when it is like a big celebration. But 100 shillings at the supermarket, no biggie. And I get to eat it for like breakfast. So I do love these cupcakes and I love them from Mill Bakers. And I'm happy that they're here in Masterbit because it does remind me of when I used to go for school field trips. And we used to go for trips and mom used to buy snacks. But these cupcakes were always amongst them. And they slap Kwanzaa with juice or with yogurt. Ay, ay, ay. Anyways, I'm going to take my new tea. <laughs> Anyways, I am home. My leg is completely swollen. So I feel like I stood on it a lot today, especially because I was leading the training. I stood for probably, if not two, three hours. I'm not so sure. Maybe two, two and a half hours doing the training. And... I stood on my leg, it was covered, and I'm getting home and it was swollen. I could just feel the discomfort when I was in the office. So I want to snuggle in bed, um, Netflix and chill with some cupcake and tea. Uh, dinner is already ready. Um, I still have my sweet potatoes and I have my mincemeat. So yeah, I'm going to call it a day, but it was a, such a lovely day. I'm so happy I'm back to work. I'm happy that I'm getting back slowly to my routine yeah, so I'm going to bring you along for the week. Um, I don't know if I can bring you to my trainings. Okay, I will insert pictures right here um, for the training that I did today. Um, the reason why I'm not so sure if I can bring you over to my training is because of consent and all those things, and I don't want to get into trouble. So let me first of all find out from my superiors if I can share pictures of me training, and then I will share them right here. Until then... Um, have a lovely evening. I'm supposed to be at the field by 9.30, which I realize is just literally five minutes walk from where I stay. So I'm super excited that I don't have to um, wake up too early or go too far because literally my colleagues who are coming from far have to start early, but I'll be there in no time. So today's outfit is my brown dera and cream. I feel like this two just, oh, actually it's beige. <laughs> There's an inside joke about beige. Um, well, the inside doesn't know what I mean. Anyways, I'm matching it with this color. So I'm ready to go to work. I've already had my breakfast. I had the leftover um, sweet potatoes with minced meat because the, there was a lot of it that remained. Um, I've already said throwing today's dinner just in case they, I don't feel the minced meat vibe. I warmed the minced meat so that if I don't feel like eating it, I can put it in the freezer. But I have 
already removed the chicken to thaw. Let me show you how it looks like. I am so happy oh so so happy look at that look at them i'm so excited i'm excited that life gave me this opportunity to come and leave this side and see the city explore the city meet the people of the city oh hmm. and stretch me i deliver business trainings in swahili believe it or not i speak very good swahili <laughs> Most people don't believe it, but it's okay. It's all cool. I still do. <laughs> so, good morning. Good morning. It's such a windy day. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's so windy. Even the trees are like moving that direction. Ooh, what's up? And I was even trying to open my door and it was like stuck, like heavy. So, the windiness makes it so... Like, you can hear... It's like someone is knocking on your door. It knocks the the flap for the door and you just like tum, tum, tum. so the first time i ever had it i stood up and i called my neighbor's name and i was like andrew andrew Niwewe. and then i i opened the door and no one is there and i'm like are these kids playing a prank but i was like it's 7 a.m in the morning no kids will be playing a prank turned out it's the wind i digress i'm here i'm dressed i'm ready <laughs> today's outfit is this green dera once my tripod is working, I probably would be able to do a full uh, show of what it is that I'm wearing. I'm wearing my beige sweater, so I'm going to wear my beige shoes. Um, that's all for the morning. I've already had breakfast. Uh, I had leftover chicken and potatoes from last night, so that's what I had for breakfast today. And I am heading to work. I can't wait to meet them. It's day three. We have windy too. apartment block look at that look at that it's so windy today anyways um let's just get to work hello hello i'm back home it's 2 p.m and first off ink stains can you imagine one of the pens blew on my hand anyways my scar is doing much better the blister broke itself i promise i didn't touch it which is a lot for me i'm definitely the type who tries a lot to <laughs> mess with them um but i'm back home there are no lights um i do have a meeting at 5 p.m so i'm hoping by the time the meeting comes back the lights will be back in the meantime i'm just gonna take lunch which is what i showed you yesterday the rice and boozy and potatoes good and morning <laughs> i'm in a good mood today it is um thursday day four of the training more today is like just reviewing the applications they did yesterday so there isn't much to be done today outfit of the day is this blue zara with a matching blue sweater i don't have blue butters because <laughs> they were out of stock so i'm wearing black but i wish i had that navy blue they have a really nice navy blue one um these ones i have had for some time uh, <laughs> they're not brand new uh, but if i go to nairobi and i find the navy blue ones i'm getting the navy blue ones yeah so that I can be changing my shoes with my daughters every time. Yeah, so I'm going to head over to the training's place. And then, yeah, have a nice day. I'll catch up with you guys when I come back in the afternoon. Bye. It is 
is 3 p.m. on Saturday. Um, it's afternoon. I did not have the psych to film in the morning. I just like, eh, apana. I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to get to my balcony and find good lighting. I'm just not in the mood today. <laughs> so, anyways, I did get out of bed at around like 9. Though I was awake at 7, I got out of bed at 9. And I started cleaning. So... Um, I only had one deras this week, like deras and my sweaters. Um, and I only had the five deras and the, and two sweaters. And I was like, should I call the cleaning lady to come clean? Especially because I haven't cleaned in a long time. And I was like, okay, let me challenge myself. <laughs> and I did clean on my own. Actually, let me put this hair back. I cleaned on my own. I know, guys. I did. I washed my clothes by hand. Now, my scar, on the other hand, did not love it. So, it's open. Um, but I'm going to put some arimis on it and hopefully that will be fine. Yeah. Guys, can you see how many we have got? I've been counting them. There are 10 of them on this stick. Oh my goodness. I am so happy because these things keep terrorizing my kitchen. And like I said, they are annoying. Good morning. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. It's actually very early. It's 7 a.m. And I have a lot of house chores that I'm up to. So here I have dishes. <laughs> I know it's actually that I have a lot of pots yesterday. I made ugali, um, and then I had another sufuria for the mboga and another for the meat soup, three pots. So hence why I have a lot of dishes. Um, and then over there, I'm already warming breakfast, which is pilau that I had made some days ago. I don't know why it always looks like there's something on my eyes, and I've washed my face. Anyways, there's nothing on my eyes. And then after that, I want to sit down and settle down for service service is starting in one hour so i need to be done with these chores in the next hour um i had a very good night's rest yesterday we had lights the whole time we still have lights right now i hope they don't go i really hope they don't go so that i can have a good day full of good vibes anyways i'm enjoying my last day of the weekend before i go back to work tomorrow so let me do all the house chores that I can today because when I go back to work, it's kind of hard to do like the nitty gritty chores. So yeah, I'm also going to go over and clean my desk. I said it was dirty. I didn't clean it yesterday. So I'm going to do that um, in once I'm done with the dishes. So yeah, I'll show you how I clean my desk later. Things in united prayer, through union, through prayer, that people will begin to release the will of God on the earth. That is God's desire. I want to show you the primary thing you need to understand. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your will be done in my life as it is in heaven. And every king in this place said amen. This is the Lord of Lords and every Lord in this place said amen. Why would he call you God? <laughs> service has ended and i've just had a very chill morning um and i'm really happy i've I watched both first and second service and then i made my nails here is the new set they're still very long so i'm gonna i'm still enjoying the long era 
<laughs> but I'm gonna cut them in a few minutes and file them so that they are I can be able to make a fist without stress and I usually don't like this nail being too long because it the thumb is used for so many things so I'm gonna shorten the nails in a few minutes we don't have lights lights disappeared when second service had just like second service was one hour in that was at around noon at around noon so we had lights from like morning all the way to noon um, I'm hoping that the lights will come back earlier because I'm just uh, hoping that I can get to charge my devices because I wasn't charging when I was on service but I hope that they come back earlier either way I did have my breakfast I warmed pilau so I'm feeling really full still um, for dinner I'm making burgers if there are no lights, I don't know if I'll be able to record the process, but we'll see. Um, at around, I'll start cooking at around four. So if the lights come back, then well and good, I will be able to record the burger making process. But if not, don't worry, I'll show you the recipe another day. Uh, yeah, I'm making burgers. You know the way people say pilaunjeri, so I'm making baganjeri, where it's not necessarily burgers the way we know them. It's just, sorry, someone is singing down there. It's just that, like, the burger party, I have mozzarella cheese on hand. I don't even have lettuce and burger buns. That's it. That's what I'm using. I tried to look for lettuce, couldn't find. So whatever I have is what I have. I just wanted the taste of bread and meat together with some cheese. So baganjeri. Actually, you know what? I will show you the recipe. I will make proper burgers sometime later. So let me go. Um trim the snails make them oh my goodness everybody's talking right now <laughs> let me go trim my nails and yeah catch up with you guys later hey guys the lights are back it is 4 p.m so as promised let me show you how my samosa process is looking it is samosa sorry burger process is looking like like i said this is baganjeri <laughs> it doesn't have everything so bear with me <laughs> so here i have the minced meat on the side i have potatoes already peeled i'm gonna make bajia later i boiled some sweet potatoes because i was noticing that they were going bad so this i'm going to cool and freeze back to my meat here i have a mixture of onions and garlic chopped really finely i've added chilies and black pepper into my mixture mm. that's gonna go in there then here I have slices of onions, I have tomatoes, and I have some mozzarella cheese. This is cheese I had from Nairobi. Can you imagine it's been in my freezer for that long? Oh, look at that. Housefly. Houseflies are annoying, but we're still killing them. Anyways, I have the house, the mozzarella. So I just cut it in chunks. Um, I wasn't really trying to be fancy with it because it's going to go onto the burger patties. I've also made some tamarind. Um, that is cooling over here. I don't know if you can see clearly. Yeah, let me just hold the phone differently. Mm, yeah. So I have some tamarind here. So I've made a lot of it so that I can be able to put it in bottles and put it in the fridge. So tamarind is just like a drink that I'll have later. So I have um five really tiny um jars of tamarind chili this goes so well with bajia oh so to this i added chili lime and salt then i have two liters of tamarind juice to this i just added sugar syrup and that's it so they're still open i don't know if you can see it's still slightly warm so i'm allowing this to cool completely and then i'm gonna put it in the freezer sorry in the fridge you can't put glass in the freezer now before you drink it you have to shake it so that the sediments mix again because it's mostly water um when it's on its own but that is what i got from that that is both of my tamarind juices and the chili so the chilies i portion them out because i don't want to keep dipping into a new one so i feel like this will be enough for one meal so i have five chilies ready to go yeah and then i've also made the bajia butter it's right here. My potatoes are dripping the excess water. And then I'm going to put them in here and fry them. So I've still not yet started cooking my burgers. But 
I am in the process because I want to clean first. Oh, then I want to show you. So this is what is left of the tamarind. Um, you can squeeze it off. I was trying to be bougie. I did not want to use my hands, but you can use your hands and squeeze it off. You can. I don't know what you can use with the leftover. I need to find out, but I'm definitely just gonna throw this one because I don't need it anymore. But I'm gonna find out what you can do with the leftover tamarind after you've soaked it in water. So that's how the remains look like. Now let me get back to cooking. <music> dinner is ready i took a bite because <laughs> i was just so it was so yummy um i'm gonna get my dipping sauce out and go sit down and enjoy dinner i do have some leftover potatoes and the other bag of patties like i said i'll warm those later so yeah that's it for dinner see you guys later mm -hmm.